in three, two, one. Revs taking the field to a standing ovation here tonight. The one, two, swinging a looper at third. My experience personally was different because I, I had submitted um, you know, a CD of, of my work ahead of time, so they had heard me, they had heard my radio announcing, but um, being there for the the PA tryouts, you know, like I said, kind of my, my first day on staff, and I really wasn't doing anything other than just loitering, <laughs> other than just hanging out and listening, but, um, but it was neat because they had a, a sample script, and everybody that came in would read off that, and it just kind of got me thinking. Like, I think there were some made-up sponsors and, and segments kind of looking ahead as to what would actually be on the announcement at a real home game. So it kind of made me think, you know, oh, this is cool. This, you know, we'll be hearing this over the sound system or this is a promotion that we're going to do. And I don't know, it kind of made me look forward to that, uh, that first home game that much more. And, and of course, we had to wait another month <laughs> when they had to push the schedule back. But, um, you know, I remember my, my first day going into, uh, into the office where, where our headquarters were before we had a stadium. They were downtown off Roosevelt Avenue, and um, I remember swiping in, and uh, I think my first assignment was to write some stories for the, the game program and um, update player bios on the website. You know, we were making our first ever player signings, and the likes of Nate Espy and Wayne Franklin, Travis Hake from that 2007 team. So I remember sitting there and typing in all the info to, uh, to go on yorkrevolution.com on, on the roster page. And I just remember thinking how incredible it was that, uh, you know, in a, in a month and a half, we would be playing our first game and I'd be doing my first pro broadcast.